God upholds you. The word of God reads in Isaiah 41, 13. For I, the Lord, thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Praise be to the living God. Another precious promise. I, the Lord God, will hold thy right hand. God, our Heavenly Father, is the one who upholds us. We don't uphold ourselves. When we wake up in the morning and we go about our business, as sometimes as though he does not even exist or he has no part in our life at all. But I want you to know in the name of Jesus Christ, that is not the truth. For he kept you throughout the night. He upheld you throughout the night. And he will uphold you throughout the day. If it was not for his precious oxygen, you would die within a couple of minutes. If it was not him who touched your body when you woke up this morning, you would not have been able to get out the bed. It was If it was not for him who gave you precious eyesight, you would not be able to see. Or a tongue or a mouth that you would have a voice today to make your demands in this day. Dear beloved, it is all up to him. He uphold us. He hold our right hand throughout the day. And he is with us and guiding us and protecting us with his holy angels that is before us. Dearly beloved, we don't make it on our own. It's him who uphold us. And because he uphold us, we can stand on those words that he spoke to Isaiah when he said, Fear not. I will help thee. Glory be to God. I will help thee. So no matter what the circumstances in your life today, you can always remember those precious promises that he gives to us. Fear not. I will help thee. And I believe that when he makes such a promise like that, and at the same time say that he is holding our hand. He is upholding us throughout the day. We can always lean upon that understanding. Always knowing that somehow, no matter how difficult the circumstances may be. And no matter how it may be to a point where we don't have an understanding of what we are going through. And we're trying to simply just figure it out. We need to stop just for a while and say, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Because I already know what my future holds. My future holds abundance of blessings. Because you hold my hand and you uphold my life. And I have no need to fear anything or anybody. And if you walk in that type of understanding, beloved, you will be filled with the joy of the Lord rather than the fear that the world exudes all the time. Dear beloved, look not to your right, nor your left, nor behind thee, but rather look forward, knowing that your Lord holds your hand and upholds you. And he says to you, fear not for this day, for this hour, for this minute. I will help thee. Be blessed today, Lord, brothers and sisters. Be blessed in the Lord today.